is really the first time we're using the camera out and about. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see how it looks today. We're just kind of driving around looking for wildlife because we finally got some snow. We haven't had like any snow forever and it's really frustrating. Like we got a teeny tiny bit, I think, what was that, overnight on Christmas? Like yeah, Christmas um, Eve? Skiff, they call it a skiff. A what? A skiff. A skiff. Does that just mean like a dusting? <laughs> oh, a skiff is what they call it. So we got a skiff on New, or on New Year's Eve, on uh, Christmas Eve and really that's the only snow that we've had in a really long time. And today we have a tiny bit of snow as you can see and it's beautiful and it looks like it's coming down quite a bit but it's like tiny tiny snows not not the big fat snowflakes which is what I like. So now we're gonna go look for some wildlife see what we can find and we're gonna test out the zoom on this lens because I know that I can zoom in quite a bit with it so we're gonna have fun with it. some Instagram pictures on the bridge which was really fun but we were driving and check it out the snow on the windshield looks blue it's like it looks like an iceberg like a tiny little iceberg you see how it's blue why is it blue we haven't used any washer fluid. I do not understand and also if you guys want to try I'm not gonna tell them the trick with that well, it does work. <laughs> I had it on there for a year and a half. Okay, so um, if you get a crack in your windshield, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a piece of uh, scotch tape on it right there. Apparently, it's supposed to stop it from uh, spider webbing out, but um, it didn't. Well, no, it lasted a year and a half. A year and a half without spider webbing out, but it j literally just cracked the windshield like two days ago, yeah. so. Hi. Oh my goodness, I am so popular. Oh. <laughs> Look at these little tiny bunny hop prints in the snow. They are so cute. Okay, so I just went to the post office. It is nine degrees Fahrenheit today, which is freaking cold. And then actually, let me look. It says it's eight degrees on my phone. Nine degrees, but it feels like negative eight. It is so cold today. But I went to the post office today and I got this is one thing that I knew was going to be happening after Blake got out of the military, but I didn't think about it until it was happening. But we have like, like five different insurance cards now that have like medical, dental, vision, like all of this stuff. We even have a pharmacy one, which I didn't even know existed. Maybe we get discounts if we go to like CVS, which is like where the card is from. So I don't know. I got our mail and we just had another one come in the mail today that was for vision. It's just so wild because you know, in the military, when you have TRICARE, you literally just have your ID and that is basically your insurance card. And so it's kind of a wild world. It, it's just so different to have insurance cards, uh, multiple different insurance cards. And it's, I have to keep track of them all. And it's, it's crazy. And because Blake isn't even here, I'm like holding on to his too. So I have duplicates of all our insurance cards and there's just so many of them and keeping track of them all is just a little bit crazy. But now that we are upon a new year, something that I'm kind of excited about is, one, I'm gonna go to the dentist here pretty soon because I've actually been having some tooth pain, um, which really freaking sucks. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know that I have pretty rotten teeth. They've always been garbage. My mouth is full of metal because I always have something wrong with my teeth, which is just, it's so annoying. I floss a lot. I make sure I brush my teeth a lot. We even got those fancy toothbrushes, um, the Sonicare's to help clean your teeth a little bit better. And I love it, but 
I don't know, my teeth shouldn't be hurting and um, it sucks. So I have like a back molar on the upper part that is sore. Like it feels like there's a cavity up there that's probably going to need to be filled. But then again, I also have a crown up there. So I wonder if maybe that's the issue. I can't, I can't identify which tooth is bothering me. So I just know it's up there. And then this front tooth, my front right tooth has been getting super sensitive to cold. Um, if I have a drink of water or if I have, if I go from eating something warm to cold, for whatever reason, this tooth really doesn't like it. And I already use like Sensodyne toothpaste. I've always had sensitive teeth and I don't know. I just don't want to go to the dentist and have them tell me that my teeth are garbage because I already know they're garbage and I'm just not looking forward to that. But I know I have to do it. That's what being a grown up is about. So that's what we're gonna be doing here pretty soon. But the other thing that I'm actually seriously looking forward to is I'm gonna go to the doctor and I'm gonna be getting a blood test. I want to look at where my vitamin and mineral levels are, like where 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 they are compared to where they're supposed to be. Um, and then just how I can improve basically how I eat and absorption of those vitamins and minerals in the new year. I thought that maybe having a baseline would be a really cool and good idea um, because I've never had a blood test to figure out where my vitamin and mineral levels are. So that's kind of what I'm looking forward to, which I know might be kind of weird, like who looks forward to getting a blood test, but I really am. I, I really, I'm just such a nerd about vitamins and minerals and I want to make sure that I'm getting as many as I can and today I'm actually going to go home and finish editing a video that is going to be going live on my channel tomorrow in the new year um January 1st which I'm really excited about and I just thought maybe getting a baseline of my vitamin and mineral levels would be kind of fun to share I thought maybe Maybe it would be something good to do to document my progress for 2019 and everything that kind of goes along with that. Yeah, so that's gonna be happening here pretty soon too. And now that I have my insurance cards, I can make it work. <laughs> I just got back from the gym, thus the uh, half dried hair. <laughs> I got back from the gym not too long ago and I am going to have some leftovers for lunch. I've been using the Instant Pot like religiously. <laughs> I, um, and I'm, I'm heartbroken about it because um, it's Susan's Instant Pot. It's not my Instant Pot. So when we move, I'm gonna have to get one. The other day I made this like lasagna and it's not really lasagna because it's using like rotini noodles instead of lasagna sheets. Um, and it's vegan, which is kind of cool. So there's no cheese or anything in it. And I love it, it's so good. So you can see it's just like rotini pasta and there's some carrots and zucchini and stuff in here. And I'm actually not gonna have too much of this because we're actually gonna do some errands today and we might get some food while we're out and about. So it's really just a snack more than anything else. Put in a teeny tiny bit of water to give it a little extra moisture. Some salt. Which I always add if I add a little bit more water. Some pepper. Crushed red pepper flakes, which I love. Um, because I like my food a little bit spicy, but I know it's not for everybody. And then the best part, a little bit of nutritional yeast, which just helps give a little bit of cheesiness to it. Alrighty. There was something I was gonna say. What the heck was I gonna say? Oh, I was gonna let you know that I finally uploaded a new video on my personal channel, my health and fitness channel and lifestyle channel. I'm so excited because it's been literally, I have not uploaded on that channel in like eight months, which I'm embarrassed by, but it's finally up. It's ready to go. It's ready for your eyes. And I will link it in the upper right hand corner if you haven't seen it already, but it's really just about getting back on track in the new year and achieving your goals in the new year and how many things we can accomplish this coming year. And I'm so excited about it. Okay. And I'm weird and I like mine extra hot. So I am going to stir this and heat it up a bit more. <laughs> All right, lunch is served. So I'm gonna eat this and then we are actually gonna go to Bozeman today. We have a lot of errands to run. I'm gonna be making these like white bean and mushroom meat balls for dinner tonight um, and I think maybe some marinara sauce and I might put them on like either a bed of rice or quinoa or something. And I don't know, <laughs> I haven't gotten that far yet, but we definitely need some stuff 
uh, around the house too. Like I need some more um, conditioner. I'm almost out of conditioner. Toothpaste. I have a list. I just don't remember what's on the list. <laughs> For today's question of the day, because we haven't done one in a long time, I kind of want like an update on you guys. What do you have going on this year? Is anything changing for you in 2019? Do you guys have any crazy things going on? Because Lord knows my life is a little bit crazy still. Can't believe it's already January. <laughs> the best part about the fact that it's January is that I get to see Blake next month. I can't believe, I can't, I literally don't know where the time went. Um, that's what I'm most looking forward to in 2019, I think. And then we've also been talking a lot about like what our plans are when it comes to moving again. And we're still trying to figure it out because we don't know the details, but we've been playing around with the idea of taking advantage of Blake's schedule and maybe doing a lot more traveling this year too. Like maybe getting an Airbnb all across the world when he's home and I don't know, it all kind of hangs on what his reserve schedule is and Spoiler alert, we still don't know. There's not really any updates there yet because we don't know, there just aren't. But everything will definitely be coming together in the next couple months and we're definitely ready for that. <laughs> but yeah, tell me all about you guys in 2019. I wanna know what you guys have going on, what is exciting in the works for you guys or what are you most looking forward to or maybe not looking forward to. Give me a little bit of a life update. It's been a while since I think we've done one of those. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you next time. Bye. Cows! Look at me! Cows! Cows! Hi! Look at him, he's looking.